What's up guys, I'm back yet again with yet another e-bike video. Today I'll be just uh, having a look at my uh, DIY 36 volt uh, 15 or 10 ish amp hour lithium battery pack. Um, it's in this uh, cloth here and uh, the purpose of today's video is basically just going over you know how the battery pack has you know balanced itself, fuses are they all intact, have any of them blown or anything like that so I'm um, basically going to be doing that today without any you know time wasting or anything we'll just um, unhook the battery that just unhooks here and the shirt that I've used to hopefully protect the battery um, let's see if we can pull this off here you'll just see if this shirt has done its job properly from looking at it it looks all right I might actually have upgraded this a little bit I've added um, two more cells in parallel on each one, so that's the only change you probably would have seen. I'll just lift this. Sorry guys, I only got one hand, so it's a heavy little thing. So there we go, that's out. And it looks alright. We are come around the back. There is quite a bit of dirt on the cells. So I'm definitely going to have to brush that off with some kind of brush or something. And uh, yeah, so the first thing we'll probably want to do is unhook the fuse. This is a 15 amp fuse just to keep uh, good protection in the whole circuit. So I've got that out. And now really we've got um, one wire here which is quite loose. So I'm going to have to re-solder that. But really, um, for a bunch of old laptop batteries and drill batteries, this thing has pretty much performed flawlessly since I've made it. And um, if you are looking at building a battery pack, I'd recommend doing it. It's definitely worth it. People may say it's probably not good to use old cells that have possibly been discharged beyond a point of like repair in their like words. But um, if you do take care of them, you can actually get these batteries up to a working order and uh, yeah this basically kind of just proves that theory and um, yeah so uh, I will be building another battery pack soon I'm going to be having the same casing as this the same fuses but this time I'm going to have high density cells and they're going to be brand new um, laptop batteries that I'm going to tear apart I'm ordering about 15 of them so yeah it's gonna be really nice um, there's nine cells in each, so I should have 126. I'm just, can't, I can't really remember what it was, but um, it's got to be a lot of cells. This currently is 100, so already it's got to be uh, better in the cells department. But um, you can see there's a lot of stuff built up. But yeah, it's got to have more cells, high density in like milliamp hours, and uh, overall just a lot better than uh, the pack I already have now. So. We set that down here. Yeah, we've definitely got a lot of sand in there, so that's definitely not good. Um, we'll probably uh, do a voltage test first, though, just to see if that sand has added any resistance or anything that has stopped these like fuses from connecting properly or something. I'm not really sure. We'll just get a voltage reading of every cell, and there's um, 10 cells in series, so. Um, that's obviously going to add up to 36 volts if you calculate it by its nominal voltage. So the first cell is at 4.5 and we'll reverse the polarity. Um, .3 ish. If we reverse the polarity it might be 4.3. I'm not even going to bother reversing the polarity, I'm just going to go down. It seems like it's fine. Um, 4.09, it's a bit out of balance, 4 4.03, 4.04, 4.05, 3.99, that's uh, a little low, 4.4, 4.04, sorry, 4.5, and 4.5. So if you think about it, that's without a BMS. Um, being charged and discharged for quite some time and um, really it's probably not that bad 
I have been watching it every so often just to make sure that no cells have been like completely out of balance. But um, for a battery that hasn't got a BMS, it's not too shabby. Um, I'm probably going to charge that 3.99 cell individually. And um, that also could be because of the resistance of the connection. So I'm going to try and clean all this up. And um, I'll be back when it's all nice and clean. And uh, yeah. To conclude, I reckon that this battery pack has fared up pretty well. I mean, some of the cells may seem kind of out of balance, but if you think about it, this hasn't had a BMS on it since two months. It's been two months since it's had a BMS, and um, it obviously doesn't really need one. The BMS I had before was kind of it's kind of sketchy. It didn't really do anything at all. It didn't balance the cells, and um, when you were charging it, it would just keep charging until the power supply couldn't provide any more like voltage, so it could charge us the cells to like 4.3 volts, keep charging, wouldn't stop and um, by that point I knew that um, the BMS obviously wasn't working properly and wasn't really worth using in this project so I um, you know every now and then I made sure the voltages were all fine on the cells and they were um, they've pretty much consistently stayed within balance of each other um, just then when we measured it was about 0 0.01 um, between the highest voltage and the lowest voltage cell so I mean that's pretty good um, you can't obviously it's probably not ideal um, that they're kind of out of balance like that but I've only been charging them to this whole pack to 41 volts so if they were evenly distributed it would be 4.1 each but if they were out of balance in this case like 0.1 volts then let's just say one volt, one cell, one parallel pack could be 4.2 while the others could be 4.1 so really none of them have been overcharged at all um, excluding the fact when they had the BMS but um, yeah so that's pretty much it I mean this is how the uh, battery pack I built three months ago has you know lasted and how it's fared over time um, so maybe I'll do another video uh, later on showing you guys um, both battery packs working together and see how they've been balanced down and all that kind of stuff but um yes if you are looking at building a battery pack I recommend doing it it's lasted three months and um, I reckon it could last a lot longer so um yeah stay tuned for more battery videos e-bike videos and all that kind of stuff and uh, thanks for watching